welcome to Half Past Cha. Dang, look at us. Already back. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. This is a husband and wife podcast talking about life and our experiences of being married and also being an interracial couple. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if you guys can see. If you're watching it, you probably can, but I'm brown. She's white. It's Guilty. a big deal nowadays. So our podcast is called Half Past Cha because we are currently drinking cha at what we call Half Past Cha. Welcome. Welcome. Hallie, we still don't have a sponsor. What does that mean? I think that means you should follow us on Instagram, if you haven't already. I'm Hallie G. Patel, he's KTV Patel, and our Instagram is Half Past Cha, like the name of this podcast. And yeah, if you want, be sure to give us a good review. Give us preferably five stars. You know, that'd be nice. And then, you know, like this video if you're watching on YouTube. Anything Perfect. else to add? No, that's it. Yeah. That's all of it. Something uh, that we've been getting a lot recently about this podcast is, um, hey, can anybody start a podcast? Now? Anybody can do a podcast. Well, not uh. if, you have a, if you have a phone, you can start a podcast. Literally, I don't know. We're, yeah. we're doing this on Anchor. So on that actual app, you can record yourself just talking and, and starting a podcast. It's very simple. So if you guys want to start one... Let us know. Go but it. it is it is very easy to start a podcast. Yeah. I know we've been getting a lot of people saying like, oh, yeah. I guess anybody can start a podcast. We What's have, your opinion on that, Hallie? We, ha we have gotten that a lot recently. And I mean, yeah, no, I, I feel like that's a lot of people's first response. Well, oh, like so many people are doing a podcast. That's true. We're not denying that. We're not saying we're incredibly gifted and talented at this either. We just feel like, you know, we have some important things we'd like to talk about. We have a great time doing this together as a couple. And I think, you know, having a podcast together is something really fun that we enjoy. So it's, I don't see all the big hullabaloo about it. This is 100% our form of marriage counseling. Yeah. <laughs> um, really it kind of helps just talking, you know? Yeah, we just get to sit down, you know, for an hour or whatever it may be every week like this and talk. And we plan this out together and we have so much fun doing it. So. Yeah. So, now that we got that out of the way, today's podcast is going to be about us getting ready to go to India. Whew. So, I haven't been to India in nine years, and Hallie has never been out of the country. I don't count Canada as out of the country. Well, I do. It's just, it's so similar to here. It's it's not really never, out of the country. I've never experienced anything different than here. Ever. I think Canada is the exact same as the U.S., <laughs> but it has free health care, and it has no guns. So, let's get into this. So, the day that this podcast episode gets released... We will be well on our way to India. Isn't yeah, that so right? When this gets released, we either are driving to the airport or we'll be on a flight. So if you're listening to this, we're already on our way. Yeah. On, so our, on our 23-hour journey. <sighs> oh, are, you, are you ready for that? Yeah. How, what's the longest you've ever been on a flight? Mm, four and a half hours. No, 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 no. Sorry, we've been to Hawaii. I forget about that. Mm -hmm. Six and a half hours. Yeah, so that's six and a half hours. So for just this, one flight, but like combined, the trip was a lot longer than that. So this one one flight is going to be eight and a half hours, and then the next flight's going to be eight and a half hours. <laughs> And so it's going to be a lot. It's a lot of flying, but uh, we'll be gone for two weeks, meaning we don't have any work. That's going to be weird. Are weird. you excited for that? Yeah, I am. I think just in general, I love keeping myself busy and I'm really going to struggle with not having, I mean, you know, we'll have things to do, but not, not like here. I'm, gonna, I'm used to cleaning our house. I'm used to working a full week. I'm used to doing photo and video stuff. I'm, you know, like cooking, cooking. That's a huge thing. That's something I won't be doing for two weeks. Yeah, it's. Also, like, our workout schedules. Ugh. Didn't even think about that. So, like, in India, uh, the, there's a lot of dust in the air. And, and so, like, even, like, to run, like, I don't know how that's going to work out. Maybe uh, it might be a lot more walking than it'd running. It'd kill me. Yeah, running. And um, how hot is it going to be? <clears throat> it's going to be, like, uh, in the hundreds. Like no 90s, runs for me. Like, 90s, hundreds. So, it's going to be pretty hot. But at night in India, when it, it, at least the time that we're going, in India, it gets into the, the upper 60s. At night. So I, it's pretty good. I mean, upper 60s is cool. Like, that's that's like you got to wear a sweater. Yeah, but during the day, the part that we're going to be up and at it the most, Yeah. way too hot for people that are not used to heat. Did you pack like some myself. sunscreen? I did. 
good. Yes. You're going to need it. I found the straw. I got the strongest in lotion form that I could buy. It's mm-hmm. 70 SPF 70. By the way, can we talk about why sunscreen is so expensive? <sighs> it was so expensive for no reason. Yeah. That's just lotion. Yeah. And I mean, I the thing is, you know, we had to get it because one, I'm very sensitive to the sun. And two, I mean, it's good for you to have as well. I know that the sun doesn't burn you, but still just to protect your skin, I'd want you to have it anyway. So we got a bigger thing of it, a bigger tube of it anyway. So maybe that's why. I don't I don't know. Yes. Maybe I'm pretentious and got a cute one. Maybe that's why. I, I want to first start with me describing India to you and then what you think of it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to first I'm going to describe the toilets. So, imagine you walk in to a room, a stone room, like a dungeon. Okay, I'm thinking cuz the fir- And now the there's a hole said, in the wall. Yeah. Not a hole the in the ground. wall. There's a hole in the ground. The, when you said stone wall, that made me think dungeon. Okay, yes. so this is off so, to a good so start. So now you got you got a hole in the wall. Okay, ground. Hole in the ground. Sorry. No for two. Goodness gracious, what God. are you talking about? <laughs> hole for two. Anyways, okay. you got a, you got a hole in the ground. Okay. And it smells so bad that you can barely breathe. What are your thoughts on that? Well, my first thought is that you have a very nice house in India. Okay. So at least for the house, that is not the case. But for somebody who's lived here her whole life... That sounds like a nightmare to I'm, me. I'm so excited to take Hallie to the most rural places and make <laughs> her go to the bathroom. I'm just gonna hold it. The ground. I'm gonna hold it. You guys, I don't think I can actually I can't I can't do it. It's I gonna be a good it. time. I, I think this I'm is a gonna clean be freak. Just... Hallie is a clean clean freak. And and I'm i I'm kind of excited for her to get out of her comfort zone because there's nothing you can do to stay one hundred percent clean. You know, so that stresses me out a lot, but at the same time, I think, you know, it's probably going to be a little good for me. Maybe I'll not be so tight about things. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's going to be really good I yeah. think for everybody. Even it makes me. me anxious, like real, real anxious, real nervous, stressed, but it'll be good. Okay. So that's the bathroom. Now we're going to talk about the environment. <sighs> okay. Okay. So the environment, the most calming, peaceful, rural, rural area we're going to a rural area. We're not going to the city. So rural, there's a lot of palm trees. It's very relaxing. All the doors are open. It's nice and breezy. It's going to be very um, friendly. Everybody's going to come over. What are, the, what are your thoughts on that? Oh. <laughs> hey, man, I tried to make it pretty calm. I know. I'm just, I just, I think I'm getting overwhelmed thinking about the. <laughs> I don't think they can see either. Sylvie's right here. You're going to just cut this out. I think I'm just getting overwhelmed by, well, one, the temperature like we'd already talked about. Two, meeting so many people, that makes me a little nervous um, because I'm not one for huge social gatherings, if you will. Um, I like them. You know, I like in small doses, I like to meet maybe a new person a day, but you live in a village with a decent amount of people, and I think if <laughs> if we're going to meet a bunch of people, and, you know, I know you're going to yeah. be so excited, and your parents as well, so they're going to want to introduce me to a lot of people, so that kind of stresses me out a little bit. And I'm one, I need my alone time to be able to function and to be able to give my best self to everyone, so that's going to be maybe something that I struggle with. Yeah, I think that overall, you'll see that it's not it's not going to be that bad. But I see where you're coming from in terms of having to meet a lot of people. I'm stressed about that too. It's like the first thing you do when you go to India uh, or like any like Indian function, I guess, this person will come up to you. It'll be like an aunt or uncle or something. And they'll be like, do you remember me? And then you just kind of have to say yes. Sure. But like, I don't remember you, man. I, I don't. I, it's, it was like 10 years ago that we met and I don't know your name. I don't know where you're from. I don't know you. So I'm a little stressed about that because... It's like, okay, come on. We all know that I don't know you, so why are you asking me, you know? Well, you know, um, they just like to, you know, they so, want to be special. Yeah, exactly. You know, oh, I remember you when you were a baby. Do you remember exactly. me? Yeah, so I'm not, I, I don't remember a lot of people. So I'm excited to, to remember and, and, and go back more often after this. It's been way too long that, I've been, that I haven't been to India. So yeah. um, it should be good. So when was the last time that you went back to India? You said nine years ago, right? Yeah, what was, was it my, for? It was my sister's 
wedding, my youngest wow. sister's wedding. And how long were you there? I was there for one month. I always go for a month. That's a long time. Um, yeah, I always go for a month. This is the first time we're just going for two weeks. So it's going to be like that to me, but not maybe not maybe not to Hallie. I feel like it will be, but you just think that it's going to take a long well, time. Well, I, ju- I just don't know. That's the thing, because I've said already that I'm concerned with what am I going to do? I mean, I'm bringing, bo- I mean, not th- not that, but just with myself. It's like I have to be doing something or else I feel like I kind of start to go crazy. Yeah. And so I never just relax here. Like this sitting down is the most I've done and I don't know how long. I'm either working out, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm, oh my gosh, well, let's go do this. Okay, too, we're out, we're at work, like whatever it may be, I don't just do that. So I think just that for two weeks, I'm going to drive myself crazy because I know we're going to do so many yeah, amazing we're gonna things. we're going to do a lot. So, so we talked a lot about what we're anxious about yeah, we just kind of went what, right into that. What are we excited about, Hallie? What are you most excited the food. about? Yeah. The food. Yeah. My Facts. sister's there right now. Actually, oh. one of my main middle sister. And she has been making reels a lot. Oh, and they're so cool. And it's like food that she's eating and, and where she's going. Which and I it's will be doing me... a lot of those food yes. reels. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so like I'm excited to eat a lot. You yeah. got to eat a lot. Oh, well, duh. So. But it's different. It, Maybe you can explain a little bit about how it's different food than the U.S. Talk about that. I think that in the U.S. we get poisoned. That's what I think, okay? Like, I think there's something in the food that honestly makes us gain weight much faster. It's just not Just processed foods. Very processed. Um, Oils, a lot of oils in American food. Sugar. Every time I've gone out of the country and ate food... I usually lose weight even though I'm eating the same amount of food. I don't know why. So I think there's something going on in the U.S. that's causing us to um, not perform our best, I would say. So uh, I don't know why that happens, but I think that's that's 100% fact. Yeah. And so besides food, you know, obviously to meet family that I haven't before, that haven't been here before, I'm very excited to meet them, to see other family that I've already met and have been to our wedding and met them in Canada and whatever. Yeah. And then also, Siketu has a brand new house pretty much that oh, he's yeah. never even seen. I haven't seen it. I can't believe I haven't seen it. We have a balcony outside our room. Yeah. We're just, it's just, it's so cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see it for sure. Um, overall, we're going to do all kinds of different things. We're going to travel around our specific area. I don't think I want to travel more than like two hours out just because I want to spend as much time in our uh, village as possible just because mm-hmm. it's just a lot it's gonna be a lot and i want hallie to feel comfortable uh, after that i want to make sure that um, we can go to all the food places that i Ooh. used to go to <laughs> like so like restaurants with bao budgie we got to go to a dosa place we got to go to uh, Domino's, Domino's and Subway, <laughs> those and are different in India, and Taco Bell. Oh my God! Anyways, those places we gotta go to, as well as um, we have a cart very close to our house that makes tabelis. Oh my God! Listen, guys, and and Kamar. Oh my! Oh like, what my are, God! What are those to people who don't know? It's tabeli is like a sandwich, pretty much. It's like ma- it's like potatoes and. I don't know how to explain it. So but it's, it's a really bun good. with like potatoes and spices in it. It's so good. And then kamar is like dough. I don't know. You make, no, well, it's you not Make dough. it into something. It's kind of like a cake texture. Oh, yeah. But it's not a sweet. It's kind of like a, I don't know, maybe like a snack or an appetizer that yeah, you I'd pair say with your appetizer. food. Yeah. yeah, and it's yellow. It's, it's really good. It's so good. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, you should try it 100%. Um, Facts. And then after that... Uh, there's a really there's a river really close by our house, like walking distance. Not really walking distance. You gotta take your, yeah, you can walk there. But that place I used to go to is one of my favorite places when I was a kid. Um, and you can it's it's low enough to where the rocks can show sometimes, so you can cross the river. Oh. Um, and it's really cool. So that's, that's why it. we're bringing that's, our Crocs. Yeah, that's where we gotta bring our Ooh. Crocs. Um, so overall, that should be really fun. Um, place to go as well. So those are just a few places that I really want to take Hallie. So now for our first break in the episode, so K2 and I are going to be doing a rapid fire, this or that edition. So shall I start, oh, Mr. Patel? Let's get going. <laughs> okay, I've got about 10 this or that questions for you. Okay. You don't know what these are. Okay. And I just want you to answer first thing that comes to your head. Okay. All right, ready? Let's go. Summer or winter? Summer. Tennis shoes or sandals? 
Tennis shoes. Swimming pool or beach. Ooh, beach. Fruits or veggies. Fruits. Cats or dogs. Cats. No, oh, Sylvie. Uh, cash or card. Card. Soda or water. Water. <laughs> you love Coca-Cola. Okay. okay, but I love water more. All right. Texting or calling? Uh, texting. Laptop or tablet? Laptop. Eating at home or dining out? E- eating at home. Why is that? You, no, 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 you, you no, 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 no. You hesitated. No, 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 because no, dining out. my food suck? No, 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 <laughs> no. I just, dining out is sometimes fun, but eating is. in no, is way healthier. It makes me feel better. I don't feel like crap after eating out, so. That's the only reason? Well, your food is like the most amazing food in the world. Oh, well. Thank you. So yeah. I agree. I agree. I love to go out for the experience, you know, for our date yeah. nights and whatnot. I have a great time and with friends, you know, socially catching up, whatever. So now you have okay. some for me. I, if have, I'm not I have 10 as well. Okay. okay. You ready? Yes. Movies or TV sh- shows? Oh, why do you have to start with a hard one? I love seeing movies in the theater, so I'm going to say movies. Okay. Rain or snow? Rain. Sweet or salty? Mm, salty as of recent breakfast or dinner <sighs> dinner dinner wow i would have said breakfast well because dinner is typically my bigger meal but gotcha. i gotcha mm, gotcha you know no what? you already made your decision i don't okay. know pizza okay. or pasta pizza dark chocolate or milk chocolate Ooh, dark chocolate coffee or tea coffee no hold on hold on mm. Hmm. I feel like being on this podcast, I have to say tea. Yes, you do. Tea. Run or bike? See, I feel so much stronger after going on a run. But Sylvie, Sylvie. stop. She's clawing at my chair. Okay. I feel so much stronger after going on, say, like a four-mile run. Mm-hmm. Biking, I can go so much further. Yes. But I don't yeah, always one. exert. Oh, Three, I don't know. Two, Probably, one. Mm, Biking because I have bad knees. Okay. That's okay. a good answer. Sun yeah. or moon? You gave me really... Sun hard. or moon? So like daylight versus nighttime? Sun or moon? That's a very interesting sun question that you picked, but okay. Um, I'm just going to say sun because yeah, I love the sun. better say sun. Okay. Mom or dad? You got to pick. Mom and dad. I, I love you both. I am not picking respectfully because I love both of my parents nope, you the same. I'm, I'm sending this to your parents. I'm right? not picking. Mom or dad. I have so... What? Mom or dad. I'm not picking. I'm not doing it. Wow, everybody. Hallie's, you pick. I'm sending this to Hallie's you parents pick. and I'm going to be like, look you at this. You pick. You raised an amazing daughter. She, they, she loves you both so much. She, she can't thinks. Pick. She does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you okay. know what? Real quick, intermission. You pick. Which one's your favorite parent? Both of them. I can't oh, pick. Both of That's them. That's why I asked you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what, K2's parents? I'm sending this to you because he... Me, 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 me. Okay. I love both my parents. Okay. But I actually... You're fine. Anyways, these were great. I hope you guys got to play this or that. If you would like to share, make sure you comment or leave a... I think it's in like Spotify, like questions and answers. Oh, yeah. Um, so mm-hmm. you can always leave your answers in there as well. So... Next up on the topic list is why are we anxious? I know we talked a little bit about it. Let's go deeper. But let's go a little deeper. So Hallie, go ahead. Yeah. All right, everyone. So I think I may have mentioned this before. I've never been this far away from home before. And if you know me, I'm very much a homebody. I love to go out and stay within my realm. I'm terrible with change. Anytime that I started a new job or college semester or moving to a different place it's gone horribly and so I think just just for me I I struggle with change a lot I struggle with anything being out of my norm and so for me flying somewhere so far away where I'm so far from home and it's not like I can just come home in like you know 30 minutes or an hour it's very different it's very um What's the word? Very intimidating, just a little bit, because yeah. we're flying so far away. And yeah, I just, I'm going to miss my house. I'm going to miss my sweet kitty, Sylvie. And yeah, I'm going to miss probably not sweating all the time. That's going to be a big change for it's me. Hot. And like hot. my bed and my shower. Just, I'm 
I get so accustomed to everything I have, and that's going to be hard for me, I think. Just maybe yeah. letting go and having something change. I know it's only for two weeks, and that probably sounds ridiculous to some people, but maybe there are some people out there that can relate to this. Let me know if you hate change, because I definitely do. So, that's a pretty good answer. Yeah. For me, I'm anxious because I want to make sure Hallie has a good experience. I know I will. Because this is, this is going back to the motherland. So I'm going to have <laughs> a great motherland? experience. So, yeah, I think just having um, Hallie have a good experience is going to be important to me. Because I don't want... This is not our last time we're going to go. So if she has a good right. experience, I want her to want to go back. Does that make sense? And so, I will. I think it's initially just the first time. Yeah. That's just how it is for me. Yeah. So uh, being able to go more frequently in the future will help. Hallie, if she has a good experience the first time, yeah. it's just going to help. So that's that's my biggest anxiety, anxious part of, of going to India, but also mm -hmm. making sure that we don't have flight issues um, and getting there safely is also a big concern of mine. Just because right now with you know the FFA and all that stuff going on, I just want to make sure that we get there safely and there's no delays. Um, Overall, it should be all good, but there are three flights. Layovers at each flight. If something gets delayed, we will miss our next flight. Something like that happening, um, that's that's about it. So the process of getting there is, is kind of what this is leading into our um, whole journey. Mm -hmm. It's 23 hours. We're that's starting here in Indianapolis and then going all the way to New York, from New York to Paris, Paris to Mumbai. So, it's going to be a big trip. You know, Hallie, do you know how many people are in Mumbai? Do you have an exact number? I do, just... but I can't. I'm not going to tell you. It's a lot of people. I can't even fathom. I don't no, know. Tell I'm, me. It's, it's a lot of people. Okay. Uh, we'll get, to the, we'll get okay. to the big number soon. All right. But um, it's, it's a lot of people. So, we're going to a very populous city. Uh, which I'm excited for her to see. We'll get we'll get a chance to go there one day while we're there, um, but it should be fun. That's the process of us getting there, um, and we are just now done packing. And so, packing. Hallie, what did you pack? Oh man, oh man, oh! I packed a lot of things. I packed first. The first thing that I did was my clothes. Mm -hmm. I know that our clothes can be washed and everything, you know, cleaned while we're there but I just wanted to have a whole lot of options. So that is precisely what I did. Because, it's again, I don't thing. know what to expect. Yeah. Hello. It's just, they overpack. I don't know what it is. Well, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I believe that is a quote from Jack and Jill. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Adam Sandler. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I've always said that. It's true. It's so true. Because I want to make sure that I have everything. So I packed a lot of clothes that I don't mind getting dirty. And I packed a lot of clothes that, you know, are for maybe if we go out to dinner or yeah. whatever it may be or special occasion or whatever. So I packed a whole lot of clothes, mosquito spray, sunscreen, a sun hat because I don't want to roast and die, sunglasses to go with all that, peanut, <laughs> peanut butter <laughs> because... <laughs> I love peanut butter. No, uh, I really do. But yeah. I got a jar of it so that I could take with us. And just be sure that because she's going to finish that whole jar of peanut butter. I will. Yeah. Well, it's a good snack. You know, I'm just, I get concerned wherever. I, food is a big concern of mine. I'm very food focused in a lot of ways. And I always want to make sure that that's, you know, something that I have access to or I don't want to. Because, okay, you guys, my issue is that I get so upset and hangry when oh, yeah. I have not eaten. So Trust I want to make sure. I know. Okay. Well, so the thing is, I could literally take a spoon and just eat peanut butter. Or like if they're, we're going to have townhouse crackers. I already know that we have a lot of those with us. Townhouse crackers and peanut butter. That's a good snack. Or like whatever it may be. Yeah. Like a peanut butter sandwich. Okay. I'm going to move on from the peanut butter now. I just want to let you know that I'm bringing that with me because it'll be good. My work phone. I want to check my email. Gross. I know. Yeah. I'm bringing my work <laughs> iPad. So. Well, I'm just, I mean, I think we're both in agreement that we're bringing it. We're not going to work because we're taking vacation, but we just want to not come back to a million emails, basically. Um, and yeah. just so we can somewhat keep up, we're not going to be super easy to reach. One, because of the time difference. Two, because 
the signal's not going to be that great. Yeah. So we're honestly kind of going to be unreachable, um, which is actually kind of a good thing, mm-hmm. just in general, that we're, we're going to be kind of disconnected. I'm kind of excited for that part. Um, yeah, it's going to be very nice. It's like camping. Yeah. yeah. We Neither one of us have ever been camping. <laughs> so, And then I guess the last thing, other than like all my hygiene, you know, shampoo, that kind of stuff, bring in a lot of books because I'm a big reader now. So that's definitely something. I'm bringing that. I'm bringing my iPad, headphones, travel essentials, shoes, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So, And I am bringing toilet paper and Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> I think that's all I need. Those are the essentials. I barely have any clothes. Half my bag is empty. Men are um, so simple. So yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really have anything else. I don't even have like anything, really. That's it. Well, I packed all... <laughs> All the hygiene stuff that we need. Oh, yeah. Like our shower stuff. I mean, I'm. at least I have that, and we can take that and share it. Like, mm-hmm. we can share our shampoo like we yep. do now, so. Should fine. be good. Yes. Overall, we are really excited. We are. I cannot wait, and I'm going to share everything with you. We are going to have an episode coming out in India. Yeah. So we'll get to talk How about cool. all this. This is an episode about packing to go to India, and then we're going to be an episode of us experiencing India. That's going to be crazy. I know. I'm really excited. I think that'd be really neat to be able to have, because you'll be able to see the video yeah. in his house or yeah. wherever we're choosing so to do it. I don't make know. Sure, make sure you subscribe to my main channel because I'm going to be making a lot of videos. Uh, they come out every Tuesday. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. It's going to be really cool to be able to go out and do that. I have made the decision that I'm not taking a drone to India, which kind of sucks. But uh, I've read a lot of things about it's kind of easy to get the drone in, but to get it back out, it's almost impossible. So um, I'm not going to risk not being able to get bring my drone back to the U.S. I so, think that's wise. I think that's the best decision. Um, overall, this is our packing episode of this India trip. We are going to have a little trivia section and a questions of the week section. So we're going to start with trivia. Mm-hmm. And how are you ready? Of course. All right. Your first question is... What is the most populous city in India? Is it the capital of India? What's the capital of India? New Delhi. Your final answer? Yeah. You are incorrect. What? Is it Mumbai? Yes, it is. Okay, that was... Come on. I literally said, do you know how many people are going to be? Mumbai has around 16 million people living in it. (laughs) That's a lot. That is a lot of people. Wow. Okay. Okay, next question. Question number two. What year... Did India become independent? Why do you ask me these questions that purposely I don't... mm, I... Ah! 19... This is important. 40s? It is in the 1940s, but you need to know this question. I know. I don't know the exact year, though. Okay. That's fine. Just guess a number. Can you give me one hint? Is it towards the beginning of the 40s or the end? No. Is it 47, 1947? It is 1947. Yes. How'd you know that? I just, I don't know. I just did. Because I remember, I knew it was in the 40s, but I was like, well, I'm not going to know which year. Okay. So this is a, this one's a very hard question. (sighs) So how many different native languages are used in India today? How am I supposed to know that? I'll, I'll let you give the rounded number. So like... You can just guess a number and I'll give it to you. Like a rounded number. 17. Native languages? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What? 447. 447 in, in India. Okay. All right. Anyways, those are my three questions. Hallie, you get to ask me. Can I ask you like the hardest questions ever? Because I to, feel like you ask me You get me to questions. ask me three questions. Here you go. Man, oh man. You have to press show answer. To get the answer. Pick any three you'd like. Oh. Hmm. What is the average life expectancy? Oh my God. What is the... <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? What is the average life expectancy in India? About 76, right? No. Nope. 78? No. Nope. 72? No. Nope. 73? You're done guessing. It's okay. 69. 69? <laughs> Yeah. Are you serious? 69 points. I thought it was 72 or something like that. The average life expectancy in the U.S. is 79. Oh. Yeah. Dang. 
All right. Which country does India share its longest land border with? Longest land border. Hmm. Pakistan? Nope. Nepal? No. You're done. Bangladesh? Yeah, Bangladesh. What? Bangladesh, what? All right, last one, because I like this one. What is the national flower of India? Oh, um, it is the lotus flower. Wow. Good job. Look at that. I like. There you go. Good job. Look I'm quite at impressed. That. All right, so now we're going to move on to our questions of the week segment, which I love. So many of you ask great questions. We post it pretty much every Friday now on our Instagram, and you can ask questions of the week there, and then we write them down, and we're going to answer them in one podcast episode or another. So I'm going to go ahead and start. How do y'all manage time with work, side hustle, and have time for each other? And this is from I am... I... Wait. I am... Iman? I, Yaman? Iamakriel? Creel. Yeah, something. Anyways, yeah. thank you for asking the question. I am Creel. Creel. I don't know. I don't know exactly how to say your name. Leave a comment if you um, could give me the pronunciation. So, how do y'all manage work, side hustle, and time for each other? Listen, we 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 don't. We do. I'm just it's kidding. hard. It's hard. I'm it's really say, hard. What? It is very difficult to manage everything uh, with work. You got to be strictly eight to five. Try not to go over that. Sometimes I don't have that option since I travel. Um, but when that happens, I try and make sure my Saturdays and Sundays are given enough time for the side hustle, whether it be our wedding business or our, our, our social media or streaming, whatever it is, we try and make sure we put that time ahead. And then we, no matter what, for our time with each other, we have a date night every week. Uh, we'll be on Fridays, and we we always try and make sure that happens. We also spend every night with each other to make sure. We love to sit down and watch shows together, and we yes. love to go on coffee dates together. But I would say the biggest thing to managing all this and making sure it happens for all three of those things is having a shared calendar where we yes. put stuff. Yeah, Google, cal- Google Calendar. That's how we do it. That's Google how we manage calendar? our time. Google Calendar. <laughs> there we go. Next yeah. question. All right. from the same From the same person. Same name. I'm not going to be able to say it right. I am Kareel. I am however you say it. What made you think that Hallie is the one and in parentheses, she's my best friend is not an answer. Okay. So go deeper. So what made me think that Hallie's the one? Well, when I first saw Hallie, it was <laughs> love at first sight, everybody. Oh, okay. And so anyways, we, we became friends at first, but the reason I wanted to be more than friends is because she was the first person to actually like listen to me and and like me for who I am. Like I was super weird around her and she still liked me. Like it was it was crazy <laughs> to actually think that somebody liked me for me. So I think that's why. Well, that's, to be fair, that's exactly how I felt too. Exactly how I felt cuz so, I was like I'm super weird around this guy and he likes me. Yeah. He's picking me up for school. Yeah, What's if you going can't on? be weird around your significant other, she ain't it, he ain't it. So yeah. just saying. All right, they that's a great it? question. Thank you again. I'm going to ask two more questions and this one is from Hey, it's Mehul. All right. How do you guys give each other confidence? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? That's a good question. I think the biggest thing is that you make it very clear that you're always in my corner. That's the biggest thing for me to feel confident and supported and loved by you. Mm-hmm. And I think you do a really great job at doing that. And I always want to reciprocate that and give that back to you. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. And just constantly build each other up. And you're working together as a team. And always have that mentality in mind. And honestly, if you do that, you guys are going to be unstoppable. So yeah. just keep building each other up and making everything that you can positive for each other. And just, you know, it, the world is already hard enough. We need to yeah. be there for each other no matter what. So I think just having that in mind and then actually demonstrating that is huge. And so that's how you give me confidence. And I think also having just real conversations. That always yeah. helps. Okay, my favorite question, everybody. This is the last question. <laughs> okay. Taka Kevin Takar 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 Takar. Okay. Okay. So Taka Kevin asked, "What What is your favorite thing to order at Taco Bell?" Oh, I have 
been a Taco Bell in a while. Yeah, but you got to answer this question. It's a great question. Ever since the new year, we've been trying to do a lot more clean eating. And Taco Bell, I love it so much. Um, mm, when I go, I either get one of two things. I'll either get a chicken quesadilla. Can't go wrong. Mm-hmm. Or I will get a grilled cheese burrito with chicken. Okay, that's pretty good. Or yes, the, those or grilled queso, cheese, chicken quesarito. I mean, okay, chicken you know, quesarios are good, but like the grilled cheese burritos are are pretty bomb. They're so good. That with their nachos and or their um, what are their potatoes? Their oh, freaking potatoes that we the get. The potato bowl thing. The what are they called? Fiesta bowl. The fiesta potatoes. Fiesta potatoes. Fiesta potatoes or their nacho fries. Yes, oh my gosh. Pretty good. I haven't had Taco Bell in a really long time and now it's starting to sound really good. So let's just, oh my gosh, that sounds good. Well, that's all the questions for this week. So Hallie, would you like to close us out now? Please like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Give us a follow if you're listening on a podcast service. And thank you for listening. Share with your friends, family, fellow cha drinkers. We will catch you next Monday at Half Past Cha. Thank you guys for watching.